And in Tech Time with me, Andrew Humphrey, a warning that is especially timely after recent hacks of high profile individuals. Are you thinking about selling or recycling your old cell phones or computers? You may think you've erased all of your personal data from them, but it's very easy for the next owner to recover all of it. The last time you upgraded to a new computer, did you first take a drill to the old computer's memory platters? Because if you thought just deleting all those bank and tax forms, credit cards, passwords, photos, and emails was enough, think again. Delete doesn't mean gone. So if you just delete files from your device, put it into the trash, remove it from the trash, it's still there. Now to prove it, the recovery experts at Kroll on Track had someone delete from their computers personal photos, mock financial information, and passwords, then sent the computer and hard drive off to their lab in Minneapolis. But recovering all that data was as easy as downloading free software from the internet. All honesty, it was really easy. Yep, um, didn't take very long at all. It was a matter of hours and we had access to all your data. We created this bank statement. It's not real, but the point is I thought I deleted it. Right, and it was there for the taking. We have your bank statement, your bank account numbers, how much money you have. It's a big problem. Kroll on Track recently bought 100 used PCs and phones online. Nearly half, 46%, still contain personal information. If the person who buys or inherits your used computer or phone has the basic free software, that data becomes theirs. The expert's advice? Buy a program that truly deletes all of your data and provides you with a certificate of proof. The other option is to get physical. Taking a hammer or a drill to the platters and memory chips inside your computer. There's data stored on both sides of the platters. The whole thing must be destroyed. Yes. A little destruction can bring peace of mind. Yeah, taking your devices through the tool shed, how about that? Now also keep in mind, you don't always have to toss your old computers. In many cases, you can actually turn those computer hard drives into an external hard drive to back up your files. That's Tech Time with me, Andrew Humphrey. All of this is on clickondetroit.com in the Scene on 4 section.